Hello everybody, welcome back. Today we're moving on to Valentine's Day, and I think I'm going to make this a pillow, but you know, right now it's just going to be a block. It's called Wild Goose Chase. So you'll need two different ones. I chose two different hearts. Um, six and a half by twelve and a half inch rectangles. And four, and I chose red, six and a half inch squares. So we're just going to make two sets, two sets, two flying geese. So we're just going to do one here. We're going to draw a line from corner to corner. A set. It's A set because there's two of them. We're going to pin that right here. And that's where we'll sew it down. And I think I might go back through and sew on the other side there too, a quarter of an inch, and make a subsequent block. But we'll see. We'll see how I feel. And then we'll do this one. Corner to corner. Right there. Pin it on this one. How? All right, and now I'm going to leave these to the side, and I'm going to go ahead and draw my lines on these because, well, I want to. Where's my pen? And this one. Okay, we'll lay them to the side. We're going to go sew these up. And see where we got it. It's right on the line. You're just sewing straight down. We'll take this one out. I'm going to leave the other one in for now. And again, right on your line. Now normally I would save my other pieces for my crumb quilt, but I do believe I'm going to sew right down here. And I'm just going to sew a quarter of an inch, a little more. I'm going to line my line, my stitch line up with my presser foot there. Well, a little bit more. And I'm just going to sew down there. Now we're going to have a second set of blocks that we can make um, another block out of. It'll be like a, it'll probably be something like a pinwheel, not a pinwheel, a oh, hourglass. Let's take that out. Put this back in. I did change my thread. I had some red left over and I put a pink spool on the top because while I want to use up my old stuff, I thought I'll just uh, switch it to coordinate a little bit. So now I'm just going to cut down there. It's a little more, it'll be a little less than a quarter of an inch there in between them, but. That doesn't really worry me. And 
this one. If you're if you don't like that and you want it to just do it a little further out. But again, my stuff I've never really had an issue with it and some of them are very short. So we'll see how it goes. So this is last year's fabrics from Walmart. I think it was last year's holiday fabrics, obviously Valentine's Day. One of them came in a this came in a bundle and this one was just a yard I had. We're going to let that cool for a minute so I can attach my other ones without it erasing my my what do you call it? My lawn. So now we're going to have four extra half square triangles. So this is like a, a two for video. And how cool is that? Okay, so now we're going to attach our other ones just like this. There we go. We'll sew that down and we'll do just what we did on the last one. We're going to sew twice. We'll sew it down and then we'll go back and do the other side. If I can get that even there. Close enough. All right, let's head back over. Again, we're going on the line first. Take that one out. Again, on the line first. Now we're going to do a quarter inch ish, just like I did last time. I want them to be about even. So I'm going to do it. Line it up where I did last time. Let me cut this off. And actually, I'll go ahead and take that out. And then this one. Take the pin out. Go cut them open, see what we got. Cut them open, cut them apart, iron them open. Where's my mouse? There we go. Like I said, normally I would have just left that and used them in my scrap quilt, but I thought, why not try this? Can make a little hot pad or something. So there's one. It's a little wonky there, whatever. We're gonna sew it up anyway. And there is two. Now I'm going to go ahead and iron these open since we're here. Make 
There's so many different ways we could lay this out. Oh, so sorry. I hit that a lot. All right, lay them to the side. Now we're going to just stack these, really. Right there's our block. Again, it's called Wild Goose Chase. We're just going to fold this down and pin it at the end. We're going to do it on this side, and I'll tell you why. Because I want to see when it goes over the point. I haven't perfected this technique yet, but if I sew over the point, then my I get a really nice, or over the X where my, my stitches meet, then I tend to get a better point on the other side. I haven't... I haven't mastered it yet, so don't hold your breath for me, but, you know, that's our goal. So we're going to go sew this together and see what we get. Well, it did. Let's go iron it open and see what we've got. it I think it came up pretty well there again it's called wild goose chase so what I'm probably gonna do here is put a border on it and make it a I think it's a 16 inch pillow because this is 12 yeah this is 12 and a half inches so it'd be 12 inches finished and I'll put a border probably hearts or something I don't know there was others in that packet I don't know um, I'll post a picture when I finish it but it, it probably will be a pillow so there it is, Wild Goose Chase. Now we're going to lay that to the side. And we are going to trim these down. My block. Oh. Where did I put it? There it is. So this, let's see how big this is. This is... This is about six. We're going to make it five and a half because it's not quite six. Actually, we're going to try to make it six. <coughs> well, we got one that can be six. Let's try the others. This one might not work out, but it also might. Mm. Not sure why that's clicking there. Two more. This one won't. All right, we'll make them five and a quarter, and I'll just trim a little bit off of those. I'm sorry, five and three quarters. You'll be an odd shaped rod size, but I don't care. As long as they're all the same size, it really doesn't matter. All 
All right, so we're doing five and three quarters just so we can have them all the same size. That didn't even work. I'm sorry. So what I did there is I lined up the diagonal on the first side as close to the edge as possible with uh, still straightening it up. And then I, when I flipped it over, I lined up the five and three quarters mark along with the five and three quarters down here along with the diagonal. And then that automatically lines up your straight lines. One more just to trim it up or down. Again, five and three quarters with straight lines and the diagonal. Let's get rid of those. Now, you can lay this out any way you want, really. Look, I could make I could do it like that, which is nice. Or I could do it with all red in the middle. Or we could do it, this is what I meant when I said hourglass, but honestly, I don't know. I like them all. That one's like a, hmm. I don't know what block that was, but I made that once. In fact, I think I like that. I think that's what I'm going to do. So I'm just going to fold this over and pin it. That's a seam. Now my seam here is really small, so when I quilt it, I'll quilt down through there so it'll help it from busting apart. Because, you know, I don't want that. I'm going to fold this over and pin it at the seam for, or the, yeah, the seams first. The pin popped. I should probably get rid of it. And then here. So we're going to go sew that up. Iron them open. Let me cut that off first. I'm going to iron these two. Yep, I'm going to iron them to the red side because then they will go opposite. So I'm not cutting them apart, and the reason is because they're going together that way anyway. So it'll just help them line up a little better. But by all means, if that makes it hard for you to work with, cut them apart. So we'll just fold this over. And there's not much string there between them. Some thread, but not much. And we'll pin it there. Pin it at this seam as best we can. And one at this one. Again, as best we can. Now we're going to go sew that down. Sorry, I'm losing my words. I don't even know. what we 
we got. Maybe I'll make it like a square, but I can make it like a mug rug or something. Isn't that pretty? So now we have two blocks out of that fabric. We have our wild goose chase and our bonus block of, um, is it broken dishes? Maybe that's what it's called. I don't know what that's called. I did it. There's one on my channel. <laughs> I don't know. If y'all think, if y'all think of it, let me know. Otherwise, I don't know what to tell you. Maybe I'll research it. But there they are. Wild Goose Chase. And I'm pretty sure it's Broken Dishes or something about a sugar bowl. I don't know. Somebody let me know. One of you is going to know. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you make it and love it. And have a great day.